Hello. Let's talk about Chapter 9 Homework. Let's read question number one together. Northwest Gift Shop, a retail business, started business on April 29, 2021. It keeps a $300 change fund in its cash register. The cash receipts for the period from April 29 to April 30, 2021, are shown below. On April 29, 2021, there were cash sales per the cash register tape of $1,530. The actual cash count was $1,820. What do we need to do here? We started off with $300 and we had sales of $1,530. That means that we should have $1,830 in the cash register. But we don't. The cash count is $1,820, which means that we are $10 short. So let's record that transaction. We know how much our sales are. They are $1,530. We are $10 short, so we can only deposit $1,520 in the bank account because $300 should remain as the change fund in the register. That means we debit cash for $1,520 and we debit cash over short for $10 and credit sales for $1,530. What do you think we have to do for the second transaction? We started off with $300 and had sales of $1,437. So we should have had $1,737 in the cash register, but we don't. We have $1 more in the register. How do you record that transaction? Okay, here is question number two. On January 2, 2021, the Blue Legal Clinic issued check 2,108 for $250 to establish a petty cash fund. What do you think the entry for this is? The Blue Legal Clinic took $250 out of their bank account and put it in the petty cash box in their office. So we know that the petty cash fund increased by $250. Petty cash is an asset and assets increase with debits. And we know that the bank account decreased. Please give it a try. Don't forget to use the option check my work to double check whether you got it right. All right, let's look at question number three. On January 2, 2021, Jasmine's Beauty Supplies Incorporated issued check 3100 for $300 to establish a petty cash fund. On January 31st, check 3159 was issued to replenish the petty cash fund. An analysis of payments from the fund showed these totals. Supplies $40, delivery expense $81, and miscellaneous expense $16. For the first part of this problem, we need to establish the petty cash fund. Please look at question number two. We covered there what journal entry you record to establish the petty cash fund. So let's look at the second part of this question. What do you think we have to do here? We paid for various expenses of $137 out of the petty cash box. That means that we need to record the increase in expenses. Expenses increase with debits. That means we need to record a debit for each expense, for instance, supplies debit $40. But, what account do we credit? We can see that a check was issued from the bank account which means that our cash decreased. Are you ready for question number 4? For this question we need to prepare a bank reconciliation and the necessary journal entries. Let's take a look. Tang Corporation received a bank statement showing a balance of $14,550 as of October 31, 2021. The firm's record showed a book balance of $14,139 on October 31st. The difference between the two balances was caused by the following items. 1. A debit memorandum for an NSF check from Richard Wolf for $421. 2. Three outstanding checks, check 7,017 for $121, check 7,098 for $52, and check 7,107 for $1,530. 3. A bank service charge of $17. 4. A deposit in transit of $854. Let's start with the bank balance. It is $14,550. We'll write that into our bank reconciliation form. Next, we'll write the book balance of $14,139 into our bank reconciliation form. Now we are ready to examine the items that cause the difference between our bank balance and our book balance. The second item is for three outstanding checks. Can you see the section on the bank reconciliation form for outstanding checks? 
write each of the outstanding checks into that section. Now let's look at the fourth item on the list. It is A for a deposit in transit for $854. The business already recorded the deposit but the bank balance doesn't yet include this. So we need to add it in the addition section. Please do that now. That leaves us with the first and the third item on our list. The debit memo for an NSF check hasn't yet been recorded in the general ledger and neither have the bank service charges of $17. That means our book balance is too high and should be reduced. So where do we have to enter the first and third item? Please write it in the bank reconciliation form now. Hopefully your adjusted bank balance and your adjusted book balance are the same now. If not, please try to identify why it doesn't balance. That leaves us with the second part of this problem. We need to record the necessary journal entries. We only need to record journal entries for items that have not been recorded yet in the general ledger. If no entry is required for a particular transaction, select no journal entry required in the first account field. Lastly, we have question number five. Let's read it together. Florence's Florals, a retail business, started a $250 petty cash fund on June 1st. Below are descriptions of the transactions to establish the petty cash fund, disperse petty cash during June, and replenish the petty cash fund on June 30th. June 1st issued check 550 for $250 to establish a petty cash fund. June 5th paid $34 from the petty cash fund for office supplies, petty cash voucher 1. June 8th paid $35 from the petty cash fund for postage stamps, petty cash voucher 2. June 15th paid $22 from the petty cash fund for delivery service, petty cash voucher 3. June 22nd paid $44 from the petty cash fund to the owner, Rosa Calderon, for her personal use, petty cash voucher 4. June 25th paid $34 from the petty cash fund to have the store windows washed, petty cash voucher 5. June 29th paid $51 from the petty cash fund for delivery service, petty cash voucher 6. June 30th issued check 590 for $220 to replenish the petty cash fund. We need to record the transaction to establish the petty cash fund on June 1st in the general journal. Record all transactions on a petty cash analysis sheet. Record the transaction to replenish the petty cash fund on June 30th in the general journal. So let's start with the first task. The first task is to record the journal entry to establish the petty cash fund. We have done that in question 2 and question 3. Please give it a try. Now we have to fill out the petty cash analysis sheet. We'll start at the top with the $250 that were received to set up the fund and enter it under receipts. Next, we'll record the June 5th transaction for $34 for office supplies. Don't forget to fill in the section at the bottom of the analysis sheet and to record the journal entry on the third tab and the analysis on the fourth tab. Please use the check my work feature to double check your work. I hope this information was helpful. Don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns.